Now, now, a lot of people do not understand the word magic. They read English interpretations to the word magic. And then when you when you go to the dictionary, you will see you will see the word illusion. Illusion. Now, illusion and magic look alike. They look alike. That is why many believers today are suffering because they have they can define magic to rest it on illusion. An illusion. I'm going to I'm going to show you something very soon. Calabra go to Fasatepi. Stay in one place, please. Mm, I'm just talking to my son, the next generational preacher. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, they look alike. Now, when you try to use your English definition to understand the meaning of magic, you will miss it. The word illusion is nothing but a trick. A trick, magical tricks. I'm going to show you something. Now, look at this. I'll prepare this. Look at this. This is a bottle, right? A water bottle. Look at it. Look at it. Look like look at it. Now, this is a water bottle. Okay. I'm going to place egg inside this bottle. Somebody say, ah, Pastor, how can that be possible? I'm not going to open it. Just the same way it is. I'm going to show you something. Just watch. This is egg, right? Now watch. I'm going to put it here. It's going to come in. Just watch. Just watch. Just watch. Just watch. This is magic. This is what you call magic. This is what you call magic. It's going in. It's going to go in. Look at it. It's still in my hand. The egg is still in my hand. It's going, it's going here. You're going to see it here very soon. Because this is what you call magic. No, this is illusion. Magic tricks. I learned it. It's not, it does not have any spiritual a, a connotation. I'm going to show you how I do it. How I did it. Praise God. I'm not, I'm not making any incantation. That's how they deceive you. That's how they deceive you. I'm not making any incantation. I'm just speaking in tongue. That's the language of the spirit. Just watch me. It's going on. It's going in. It's going in. This is how they do the trick. Now it's gone. It's gone. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look, look at the egg. Now the cock is still here. This is magic trick. This is what? Magic trick. This is not the magic. This is magic trick. Illusion. Illusion. You get it? Illusion. This is called illusion. Now, let's proceed. I know somebody will be asking questions. Don't worry. I will show you how the magic was done. How the tricks was done. The tricks behind it. But let me go further. Now, magic. Magic that you are supposed to know is nothing but a supernatural method to dominate natural forces. Magic is a supernatural method to dominate natural forces because magic is a spirit world. It's a supernatural world. It's a, it's a supernatural power that, that is used to dominate physical power, physical authority. That's why you need to be more spiritual to understand what bewitchment is all about. Follow me closely. Now listen to this. When somebody is using magic power, I'm not going to go into demonology because if I go into demonology, I'll begin to speak some things. I'm not going into that for now. Now, now, magic is a supernatural method to dominate natural forces using sorcery, using sorcery, using witchcraft, using divination. Calabra do Serenta. Using divination, it is it. Many, there are many things. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. I want to ask you, who has bewitched 
you. Now, the word bewitch, Paul asks the question. He said, who has bewitched you? Because the, the word becomes a question. They refuse. When you refuse to face realities of life, they come and then the spell of bewitchment begins to manipulate and begin to enforce its power in you because you are looking at what some of us are looking at our what our father did somebody say uh, don't uh, remove the ancient landmark all those are stories all those are stories when the ancient landmark is not working for you remove it are you hearing what i'm saying in those days god put in a law that no man or woman should wear what belongs to each other do you know why that's why my father's church women sit on this line and then the men sat on this line why because what a man should not do what the women are doing or sit close to the woman so that they will not become pregnant listen to me all that are nothing but illusion ancient landmark it's not working jesus came and removed all those landmark he removed it now let's not let me not digress understand this that to bewitch a person is to make the person the victim foolish make the person sense foolish to cast a spell on the mind so that they can know they can control you you won't know what you are doing can i tell you this when you go to a woman that is zealous for man for man hey kapara the city they give you something to eat and that is all you don't even know what you are doing I, 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 when they, with an all night one day and a sister came and i i, I just I, I was just led at the spirit of god to ask if anybody has a prayer point and then a sister came out and said my 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 brother ran away with another woman to her home and abandoned, abandoned her own wife his own wife and children i said you know what i'm not going to pray for you and i'm not going to tell the pastors here to pray for you you are going to go home next friday we are going to have another all night tell your sis your your sister-in-law to come and say to god on this altar what he she wants god to do and when she came prayer was offered the bewitchment was broken it will shock you her husband ran away with another woman to go and live with the woman in her house can i ask you a question between a man and a woman who puts a who puts each other in the house is it not the man that's supposed to put woman in the house but this man left his family and went to ask to stay with another woman that is the height of bewitchment i want to ask you a question what has bewitched you who has bewitched you what is working against your senses what is controlling your mind what is controlling your spirit what is controlling your destiny tonight i decree they shall be broken in the name of jesus any woman making food i won't go into that today by the grace of god i will work on that another day but any woman that make food for your husband to control his life tonight just make it upon that woman 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 in the name of jesus they shall scatter by fire in the name of jesus christ follow me closely many people are controlled by their own mother it will shock you even when they are in when they are married they are married to a husband they married their wife their mother still control them why because they are under bewitchment they are certain things that your mother should not detect to you when you are in your husband's house or when you have married your wife no way your mother should not be the one preparing your food for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife they shall become one flesh and therefore whosoever what's whosoever put asunder uh, uh, what god has put together let no man what put asunder it's a decree listen to me 
Any of your sister-in-law, brother-in-law, they are not permitted to cook for your husband. Woman, hear me! Your mother is not permitted to cook for your husband. No matter how lazy you are, cook for your husband. I'm not going there tonight. I'm not going there. Hey! Many people are under bewitchment by what? The tradition, the tra village tradition. Many people are under their, 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 their 